So good afternoon, welcome to Salt Fix. It's, uh, it's a Sunday afternoon. The wind is blowing pretty strong southwest. I've been at Surf Club all morning, so I didn't get a chance to get out this morning, but it was southerly anyway, so it wasn't too good. Uh, I'm kind of bitter. I missed a really good day yesterday morning. The forecast was dicey. It said northerlies proposed between 10 to 15 knots. After I had such a shitty day on Friday, I figured I just didn't really want to get bashed again, so I skipped Saturday morning. Um, went and helped out at the surf club again. Turns out the weather was bloody beautiful and I should have gone out, but anyway, that's, that's the way it goes. You can't get out every day of the week. So I decided to come up here with my mate, Dano. Yep. <laughs> come way, way upstream um, to a little spot that we like to come to. Uh, it seems like there's not very much water here. The plan was to come up here and fish. There's usually a few deeper holes around here. We were gonna try to fish and I was gonna try and use these uh, Z-Man soft plastics and see if we can't get ourselves a decent brim on the plastics. But there's really not much water. As it is, we've had to make our way down and climb, as you can see here, we've had to climb over logs, climb under logs. Um, it's quite an adventure anyway, it's always good fun. But as far as the fishing goes, I don't know if we find a bit of a deeper, bit of deeper water, I'll have a few casts. But for now, we're just having a cruise, having a bit of an adventure. Um, it's really different to see this in the summer when the water levels are really low. In the winter, it's normally another, I don't know, probably another meter and a half higher up there, and there's normally plenty of water to cruise through here. So in the summer, it's kind of skinny water, skinny water paddling. But we don't care. Do you care, Zane? No. No. We're just up here having an adventure on a Sunday afternoon. Better than sitting at home in front of the TV. So stick with us to see what happens. Roadblock. What are you gonna do with this same? <laughs> How are you gonna get through, bro? Oh, my rod's getting smashed up here. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's up to you to find a way through, mate. I'll try. Oh. Wait, can you go back to Are you gonna reverse through? No, I don't think so either. Think what about through here? Is there a way through there? Maybe have a look under there, see if you can get through under there, mate. Yeah, but then there's another. I don't know. Have a look. You explore and see if you can find a way. And if you if you can get in, I'll follow you. <laughs> oh, he's done it. Well done, Zane. Bit of a dodgy old roadblock here. Zane, they got through. Yes, yeah. So that didn't go so well. We just got through that blockage there. We got around the corner, and bingo, there's another blockage right here. I don't know, we might bash this one and see how much further we're going to go. It's looking like with the water levels this slow. It's quite clear, um, I can see behind the... Um, can you see behind? Is there a way to go? Um, I reckon you can bash through it pretty quickly. Alright, you go. Maybe we can go up around the bank just there. See it around the bank there? To the left? Have a bit of a look. <laughs> oh well, I don't know how much fishing we're going to get done up here. It's beef. What? Oh, thanks for that. I've actually seen some really big brim this far upstream a couple of times in the past. It's really hard to fish. In the winter, it's flowing really fast. And in the summer, as you can see, it's really low and it's only like a foot deep and there's all this green algae stuff all over the bottom, which makes it really hard to fish. Um, there's some big brim up here in amongst these snags, which again, are just ridiculously hard to fish. Um, I don't know how much fishing we're going to get done today, but we'll give it a crack if we find the right looking spot. Anyway, let's see if I can get through this little roadblock we've got here. What's this copper? Look at this copper timber here. This copper timber is like a sleeper or something here. Yeah, we can just go around the outside here. Ha <laughs> 
Limbo. Nice. That'll get it done. Oh, into the sticks. Look out. <laughs> Good. Let's go have a bit of a scout and see how much further we can get. Things are getting pretty boggy. The kayak's high and dry. You can see here, it's only ankle deep in water. Oh, it's like quicksand. Zeno's bogged around the corner. You're right, mate. He's not okay. He's not okay. Oh, he's bogged. He's bogged. So Zeno's mooring rope is wrapped around us. No wonder you're not going anywhere, mate. You tied, you tied yourself up, you goose. <laughs> well, at least now, now I know my anchor works. Well, I really don't like walking around these sort of spots in the middle of summer with bare feet. It's just like Tiger Snake City. I'm not going down there in the swampy stuff. Can you just stay there, mate? Yep. I'm going to have a bit of a look up here. So the river comes through here. That part's pretty clear. Yeah. What? It's fine. Just get over. Just wait. Oh, that's pretty spiky. I don't know if you can see down here all this green algae stuff. So all the deeper parts of the river where I'd be hoping to fish is all clogged up with this green algae stuff. Can you see it breathing down there as well? It creates its own bubbles of gas or I'm not sure methane I'm not sure what it is it only comes in the summer it normally flushes out with the first rains but in the summer it makes it not only possible to fish with all of this shit here well Zane found his way through he didn't want to wait for me to explore <laughs> lucky the kayaks are made out of plastic and not fiberglass <laughs> they'd be getting Right, okay, so we've got to this. This one's a pretty serious looking roadblock. There's about three or four logs in a row here. It looks pretty unpassable. We're gonna see if we can't go back over here to this bank and maybe walk around the top a bit. But yeah, I don't know how much further we're gonna go anyway. The current's flowing reasonably strong downstream. And little Zeno's only got so much in his arms. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go today. We had a bit of a walk up and around the roadblock here. Probably about another 200 metres up and around through the bush there to get around this roadblock. Um, you probably could go over the top of those logs and back your way through, but because I've got the fishing rod with me, it's just making it really tricky. So we're going to give it up today. It's already half past five in the afternoon anyway. It's probably going to take us an hour to get back to where we are. Um, where we launched also it was a 10 minute walk in with the kayaks. Um, it took me um, maybe 10 minutes because I had to walk both of them in because Zane obviously can't lift his one. But it just shows you how good is Australia. Like you can find a place secluded like this. You're never going to see anyone up here. This is all yours. You got it all yourself. For the basic fact is I had to walk the kayaks in for five minutes. People just want to park on the bank of the river, launch their kayaks and be like right there. Seems like nowadays no one's really got enough energy or just enough adventurous spirit to go out and have a look around and find their own their own piece of paradise. There's so many rivers like this all the way along our coastline, um, from Esperance all the way up, Durian, uh, Geraldton, uh, further up, Calberry, Carnarvon. I mean, there's so many rivers. 
There's so many places, even close to Perth, where if you're willing to put in that little bit of extra effort just to get away from where everyone else goes, you can find yourself your own little secluded river like this. Um, just, yeah, what a way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Better than sitting in front of the box. Zane's not sitting on his computer playing Minecraft like he would be otherwise. Did you have fun, Zane? Yeah, ish. Yeah. You know kids, they're pretty hard to please. Anyway, so that's it. <laughs> So that's it for us. We're gonna paddle it back to the car, head home for some dinner. If you like our stuff, stay tuned. Um, hopefully there's a couple of windows this week that I might be able to get out and smack some big fish on those jigs that I got given. Uh, next weekend's a ride off for me. I've got a couple of family commitments, so I'm not gonna be able to get out Saturday or Sunday next week. But there's a couple of windows through the week, uh, Thursday and Friday afternoon, that I might be able to squeeze out. So if you like our stuff, stay tuned, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll be smacking some big fish in the next episode. Yo!